Hey guys, today I'm going to show you 5 easy ways to speed up your renders in Blender. Let's get straight into it. So number 1, change your render tile size. Simply put, the default tile size is not optimized for your specific hardware. If you're using a GPU for rendering, 256 by 256 works best, and if you are using a CPU for rendering, 32 by 32 is most optimal. These are just guidelines however, and you may need to do some tests with different tile sizes to find what works best for you. As a rule of thumb, it's good to stick to the power of twos when testing out tile sizes. Number two, decrease your samples and light paths. There's a point at which light paths and samples begin to show diminishing returns when it comes to render quality and the time in which it takes to render. You don't need crazy amounts of samples and light paths for a great final render. For example, on the left here, I have rendered this image with 5,000 samples and 100 light paths. And on the right, I rendered with 500 samples and 12 light paths. The image on the right took only 1 minute and 10 seconds to render, and it's almost identical to the image on the left, which took 4 minutes and 16 seconds to render. So when you are finalizing your render settings, lower the samples and light bounces to something less intensive and you'll see a massive difference in speed on your render. Number three, downscaling your image resolution. This is one of the easiest ways to speed up your render. Simply go to your render output properties and decrease your render resolution. I find 50 to 80% works best for me. And as you can see again, the final render quality is near untouched when compared to the full resolution render. You can use third-party software like Topaz Labs to upscale your render after the fact if you think the quality is lacking as well. Number 4. Denoise your image. Applying Blender's built-in denoiser to your scene can speed up your render significantly. If you have average hardware and can only render on low sample counts, this one is for you. For example, the image on the left was rendered with 128 samples and no denoising applied but the image on the right was rendered with 50 samples and denoising applied. There's no distinguishable difference to your eyes, but there is an 85% decrease in render time. Lastly, number five, use the latest Blender version available. This one kind of goes without saying, but Blender is being updated and improved upon very frequently. And with each new build that becomes available, optimizations to cycles are implemented. You can see on this graph how using the latest version available can be significantly beneficial to your render times. A great place to read about up and coming releases or anything about Blender's development is over on the Blender development blog. I'll leave a link below. Alright guys, those were my 5 tips on how to speed up your renders. Let me know in the comments below if this helped you at all. I'd love to see what you're creating so please at me on my socials so I can check them out. Before you go, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.